you've expressed again today the national security concerns uh, with the app. Why then did the president agree to appear in TikTok videos? Again, we uh, we have not changed our national security concerns uh, about the app. Does that, it send the wrong message? I know you want me to tell, tell you more about this, but I'm just not going to get ahead of that. President Biden facing backlash for appearing in a TikTok video with One Direction's Niall Horan after se expressing security concerns over the app and banning it from government devices. The CEO of TikTok, Sho Z Chu, will testify today on Capitol Hill over the national security risks. Joining me now is Florida Congresswoman, member of the House Energy and Commerce and Agricultural Committees, Kat Kamak. Congresswoman, it's good to see you. Thanks very much for being here. It's your hearing, your committee's hearing this morning. Tell me what we should expect and what you may ask. <laughs> well, I can't let that cat out of the bag about my line of questioning today, Maria, but I will tell you that we are going to prove, both Republicans and Democrats, that TikTok is nothing more than an extension of the CCP. They have members on their corporate board that are in fact members of the Communist Party in China and high-ranking officials at that. So we will undoubtedly prove that connection. Secondly, we will prove the national security threat. TikTok is doing nothing more than uh, harvesting data of Americans all across the country. And we've seen how they've used that data to target journalists, to target minors. And then of course, we will prove that this is in fact digital fentanyl, that this is harmful to children, that this is not just music and dancing and filters. This is actually a way for people to groom children and to target children for nefarious purposes. Yeah. So it's going to be wild today, so stay tuned on that. I mean, unfortunately, the CCP has infiltrated this country in so many areas, academia, Hollywood, corporate America, the surveillance. So if you're talking about TikTok this way, are you also looking at Sequoia? Are you also looking at the fact that Neil Shen runs uh, Sequoia China? And what does that mean for Sequoia U.S.? This is America's, one of America's most premier venture capital firms. So what are we doing? We've got the CCP running one of America's most premier venture capital funds. What, what does that mean? Are they getting American investors to invest in Chinese companies to have America uh, fund the expansion of the CCP? And are you yeah, going to do I mean, anything about, about that? This. Yeah, think about this. Warfare today in the 21st century, this is not your conventional big box warfare that is rooted in the Clausewitzian theory, right? This is asymmetrical warfare. This is information warfare. This is how they are seeking to destroy and undermine the United States. They are trafficking data in the information economy. They are seeking to hold the premier spot when it comes to information economy. And when they do that, they control everything. And so whether whether it is through corporate America, through our higher education institutions where they have placed Confucius Institutes, through the Thousand Talents program where they then steal intellectual property and send it back to the mainland, whether it's through the financial sector or through entertainment apps, as yeah. they call it, like TikTok, they're seeking to undermine American sovereignty at every turn. The CCP is a direct and clear threat to the United States sovereignty and national security. Yeah, but everything you're saying is being undermined mind by Joe Biden and the Democrats. There's There are TikTok videos all over the place with Obama on them. And Joe Biden just did one. And we know that the Democrats see TikTok as a really important vehicle for them for uh, attracting young voters. And they're not going to get off TikTok going into the 2024 election. No, and again, that just shows the hypocrisy of this administration. They claim to be tough on national security, but then they go and do a TikTok video. They have their own administration from the FBI to the FCC saying that this is a threat. They have signed off on this application being removed from government devices. So they talk out of both sides of their mouth. It's not just on this issue, but others. And that's all the more reason why we need a strong Congress to step up and do the things that this administration just is incapable of doing. Yeah. And the great thing about this is that Democrats and Republicans share the concerns that TikTok presents, not just to our kids, but to our national security. Well, let me just say that New York Congressman and squad member Jamal uh, Bowman uh, defended TikTok while taking aim at Republicans. Watch this. As we know, Republicans in particular have been sounding the alarm, creating a red scare around China. Let's not be racist towards China and express our xenophobia when it comes to TikTok. 
because American companies have done tremendous harm to American people. Is he not aware of the national security risks that you're referring to, Congressman? Oh, Maria, bless his heart. You know, it seems to be the default setting yeah. of a squad member to immediately assume that there's undertones of racism and yeah. they want to play the victimhood card. But, you know, in that clip, it went on to say, oh, he knows why Republicans want to ban TikTok. It's because they don't have swag. Well, Maria, I may be young, but I know that if you have to talk about having swag, you just don't have any. Yeah. So <laughs> I just think that, you know, they're going to try to defend this. Good luck to them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks very much. Kat Kanick joining us this morning.